Hi, my name is Ahmad and I am an aviation enthusiast. I will be putting together a series of videos to show you how to fly a Boeing 787 aircraft. Since I don't happen to have a Boeing 787 aircraft handy at the moment, I will use the Microsoft Flight Simulator for the demonstration. In today's video, I will go over how pilots wake the plane up from a cold start and how the plane is tugged to the taxiway. Subsequent videos in this series will cover the aircraft and the autopilot engagement as well as landing at the destination. Throughout this series of videos, I will try to explain what a pilot sees in the cockpit, go over the switches they use and their operation, some of the abbreviations you will encounter, what they mean, and also a little about their function. As I mentioned, today's short clip will cover how a Boeing 787 aircraft is started and taken to the taxiway. Although the startup sequence is close to what you would see in the real world and this clip is only 5 minutes, please note that a real 787 aircraft takes about 45 minutes to wake up from a cold start. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, hello everyone and welcome to my first video on operating a 787-10 on Microsoft Flight Simulator. So for today's flight we'll be going from Boston Logan International to Schiphol International Airport in Amsterdam. So the first thing we will want to do is turn on the battery over here on the electrical panel. Turning on the battery will turn on all systems and after turning on battery you must make sure that all external power is on which draws all power. Go to your APU starter and just be clear APU is located at the back of the plane where all the exhaust comes out, or at least it's thought to be exhaust. So in the back of the plane, there's a third smaller engine called the APU, which is abbreviated for Auxiliary Power Unit. So we'll just have to set the APU starter to start, automatically goes to on. APU gen switches must be on in order for this to work. So we'll need to wait a little bit for all the systems to be to go run. And one of the things I would recommend doing, if you're on a long haul flight, I would recommend setting your altitude first. My recommended altitude is oftentimes 35,000 feet. With Boston ground Boeing Alpha Sierra X-ray 787 requesting pushback. With an altitude of IAS, I meant to say, of 300. Now, now that we have our autopilot set, we just, you should also make sure that your auto throttle is on so that nothing goes wrong while taking off. And let's see, you must also be sure to disengage your parking brakes so that you can be tugged out faster. And let's see, right, I also forgot to mention, once, the, once your APU is at 100% power, you must turn on all fuel pumps are all these over here. Make sure to leave the fuel balance and cross feeds off since those are unnecessary as of now. And turn on your beacon to notify crew members on the ground that you are about to turn on the engines. Speaking of which, we will now go over here just on top of fuel jettison. This shows engines, so you must put both starter engines to on. Go down here. Both these fuel control switches must be on so that fuel can run into the engines. And thus, our engines are now working. And one last thing, well, I should say one more thing to do, is take your ICUS monitor. You see this button right over here, just under all of these? This is what you should press in order to have your ICUS ticked. And finally, now that we're almost pulling we're almost done pulling out. So one thing that I wouldn't recommend. So usually in the checklist they would tell you to turn off your APU. This I would not recommend for oftentimes, well basically all the time, for taxiing to and from your gate into the runway or from the runway, you'll need to leave the APU on. Unless you're in the air. You'll, you, can, you have to keep it off at all times unless it's an emergency. So now you have to turn on all landing lights, runway turn off lights, taxi lights, lights and strobe lights. 
as for all as for the last three on the same line with the beacon lights and as you can see your heads up display is on oftentimes for autopilot and yeah now we'll just have to wait for the tug to be finished Hence, you are ever concerned with the equipment you may be using, I will put my equipment in the description below. Boston Ground, Boeing Alpha Sierra X-Ray 787 requesting the end of pushback. Boeing Alpha Sierra X-Ray 787 request to end pushback received. Boston Ground, Boeing Alpha Sierra X-Ray 787 with echo request taxi for takeoff north departure. Boeing Alpha Sierra X-Ray 787 taxi to and hold short of runway 3 tree left using taxiway Alpha Quebec Bravo Foxtrot cross runway 4 left Foxtrot cross runway 22 left Foxtrot cross runway 3 tree left Golf Charlie cross runway 27 Charlie. Contact tower on 132 decimal 225 when ready. Quebec Bravo Foxtrot cross runway 4 left Foxtrot cross runway 22 left Foxtrot cross runway 3 tree left Golf Charlie cross runway 27 Charlie Boeing 787. Okay, this will basically sum it up for my first video on starting up the plane, and I'll make a new video shortly. Thank you for watching.